I'm Jeff Hoffman, former NASA astronaut, now professor of aerospace engineering in the Aero Astro Department at MIT. We're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Challenger disaster, where we lost Ron McNair and his six crew members. I knew Ron well. We were both selected to be space shuttle astronauts in early 1978. We were the first group of astronauts specifically chosen to fly on the space shuttle. The shuttle, of course, having two pilots and five other crew members could have scientists and engineers on board, which Ron and I represented. I worked here at MIT in the late 70s at the same time that Ron was working on his PhD. And I remember actually, before Ron was ever selected as an astronaut, going to a physics lecture one day where Ron and his PhD thesis advisor gave a demonstration on the physics of karate. Ron was a fine uh, karate practitioner. Ron was very well liked by his fellow graduate students, his professors, and of course once we got down to NASA by all of his fellow astronauts. Very, very talented uh, human being. And in fact had uh, many different uh, skills. He was also a keen jazz saxophone player. And on his first space flight, he actually took his uh, saxophone into space so that he could play jazz for himself and his, his crewmates. The 25th anniversary is coming at a time when the space shuttle is soon to be retired. Certainly, the Challenger disaster uh, reminds us of some of the serious problems that the shuttle had. It's also important to remember some of the uh, accomplishments that the shuttle made possible. Um, we used the shuttle to repair and maintain the Hubble Space Telescope, to construct the International Space Station, the future of human space flight in our country is under discussion now, and it remains to be seen what the future holds in store. But while we're thinking about the future, it's important not to forget the past, to forget people like Ron, who made the ultimate sacrifice so that humans could learn how to live and work in orbit around the Earth and accomplish the many things that the shuttle has allowed us to do. So on this 25th anniversary, uh, we remember Ron and his fallen crew members and uh, hope that we will learn the lessons, uh, not let something like that happen again, but also remember that exploring space is a dangerous activity, that without sacrifice and risk, there will be no exploration, and hopefully we can take uh, encouragement from the example of, of Ron and, and his crewmates uh, and have the, the courage to accept the risk and go on and continue the exploration of space.